We are just finishing up the final touches of this Indian ink, um, whatchamacallit, Indian ink little illustration, um, of typography. Well, yeah, it's an illustration of typography, but that's what we're going to be calling it. And I can't really actually record myself draw well um okay let's just see how it goes so I'm drawing little curvy lines and just freehanding the final touches of this little piece just doing some random stuff I don't know what these things are. They look like teeth. Maybe t teeth on top of tentacles. Who knows? Anyways, um, so this is my little um, take out container of Indian ink that I'm using. Stuff is um, stuff is by Sanford. Sorry, I keep saying um. Kind of gotta be a little careful. Stuff goes on so smooth. I was actually, I just switched over to Indian ink. I initially started. Um, sorry, I'm in deep, deep concentration right now. I started off with a big pen at first, and it was pretty terrible. And as you can see on the back, it's a, uh, what do you call it? when you use a sharpie and it goes through. Yeah, that's what it is. So we're going over the RCA cables now. Trying to get the bottom part to balance out with the top because there's a little bit more illustration at the top going on. Ooh, I almost fucked up looking at the camera instead of the paper so that looks that looks pretty good huh try not to fill out or fill in any objects because you already have the letter T Y P E which spells type so we don't want to fill in too much black because it'll take away the but yeah, as you can see, I'm not really paying attention to this video, so. Mm. Yeah, this stuff is really good, actually. I, I like it a lot more than Sharpies. My... My sharpies were actually bleeding too much. I like, I like the Indian ink quill pen thingies because they give me more control, and I have more freedom to do either thick or thin lines. And right now I'm doing really thin lines, and as you can see, there's no bleeding, which is pretty awesome. And I don't know, I have a feeling that if I keep going at it, I might fill up the whole page and we don't want that, so perhaps I will just fill in a couple, a couple more of these little guys, what do you want to call them? Random skinny toothpick looking rectangles. That looks about, about finished, huh? Some shadows in the leaves, some subtle strokes, and these little alien looking things. Now we can't even see the, the little RCA cables. Maybe if I shade them in, we might be able to.
This is really hard holding a camera and making sure no accidents happen. A little more of these little circle stem things. And there you go, my little illustration. See ya. Bye. Peace. Later.